factor 3x squared minus 27x plus 60. So the first thing you should probably notice on this one is, whoa, 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 our a value is not 1 this time. It's 3. But is it? Why do I say that? Well, you always have to look for the greatest common factor first. So this one is a classic. It has a common factor, which is going to be the 3. So we have to re we got to pull out the greatest common factor, 3 parentheses. All right, 3 times what's 3x squared? 3 times 1x squared minus 9x plus 20. All right, so again, you need to remember, you always look for GCF first when we're factoring. So in this case, it's an easier problem now that we have an A value is only 1. So we're going to factor now that quadratic trinomial the x squared minus 9x plus 20. So AC in this case is 1 times 20, which is 20. And the B value is negative 9. So now I need two numbers that multiply to 20 and add to negative 9. So since it's a positive product, when you multiply, you get a positive number. We know it has to be positive, positive, or negative, negative. Well, if we want the sum to be negative 9. It has to be negative, negative. So I know that. So then you got to think of what are your factors of 20 that are going to get you to 9 when you add them. So 1 and 20, no. 2 and 10, no. I get you 12. Uh, 4 and 5, ding, 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 ding. So we know one factor is going to be the negative 4 and the negative 5. This is a 1, 8. Uh, this is a a value is 1. So I could actually get away with just using the diamond here. So I know it's going to be. 3 times x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 5. I really don't need the generic rectangle in this situation. But let's go ahead and do it with the generic rectangle. So we have x squared would have been up here. We would have said, okay, this is minus 4x. This is minus 5x. And then this is my c value, which is the 20. Okay. So then we would... Let's pull out the GCF. We're going to get X here, X here. X times what's negative 4X? Oh, negative 4. X times what's negative 5X? Oh, negative 5. See how it's X minus 4, X minus 5? Boom, boom. And then we don't forget the, the, the greatest common factor we pulled out has to be there. So we have three factors. 3, X minus 4, and X minus 5 are our three factors. All right. That's as hard as it gets when the A value is 1. Today's lesson is when, after we pull out the greatest common factor, we're going to have an A value that's not 1. It could be 2, it could be 5, it could be a half, whatever. It's not going to be 1.